this is sudha murthy and we'll be starting a new batch for cpa auditing right now so let's go ahead let's start uh, we are approaching the cpa audit exam let's first understand how the uh, question paper works and what are the what is the weightage and topic wise how does it appear it's a bit complicated so it's worth starting uh, before we start to understand how exactly we need to approach this paper okay so now as far as the weightage is concerned how much of weightage out of 100 percentage wise how much is the weightage 15 to 25 percent weightage is for ethics professional responsibilities and general principles so we will do about ethics what is ethics guys ethics is some rules some principles that have to be followed so this ethics that is the uh, the, the principles that have to be followed are given in a few ethical standards okay. also an auditor is expected to have certain inherent quality for example he has to be alert all the time he cannot be negligent he has to exercise due care he has to be uh, he has to use his judgment properly he has to be unbiased so there are certain qualities and ethics for which the percentage given is 15 to 25% 20 to 30 percent of the marks goes to assessing the risk and developing a planned response. We'll study about that. 30 to 40 percent is performing further procedures. So the actual audit procedures ka jo performance hota hai, that is from 30 to 40 percent, and 15 to 25 percent is performing a conclusion. So if you break up the entire audit process into four parts. ethics risk assessment performance and conclusions so the break up of the percentage would be 15 to 25 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 25 to 15 to 25 percent but more important than this guys what i would say is more important than this is this particular slide wherein i am going to explain to you about the cpa exam review how do you exactly approach the cpa exam okay auditing cpa exam how does it come okay you have mcqs and you have tbss so what is mcqs multiple choice questions what is tbs what you call as sim task based simulation what you call as sim so you have okay you your entire cpa exam we have broken up into five parts that's how it is it is designed that the entire exam of yours is broken into five parts so you have part 1 2 3 4 and 5 now the first testlet so the first testlet consists of 36 mcqs no tbs is here 36 multiple choice questions okay and the time that you should take is 40 to 45 minutes for this when i say you should take what i mean to say is there is nobody who is going to come in and tell you listen 45 minutes are over or 40 minutes are over you will should be done with testlet 1 now please submit your testlet 1 ye nahi bolega koi you have to decide okay so you should be strict with yourself to not to exceed 45 minutes in your first testlet that is 36 mcqs can you extend yes you can extend but it will eat up on your time in the next testlet or somewhere else because the total time slot that is given to you is only that much hai na jab itna hi time 3 hours hi diya jata hai तो आपको इसके अंदर विथ इन दिस यू विल हैव टू अलोकेट द टाइम अप्रोप्रिएटली सो फॉर द टेस्ट फर्स्ट टेस्ट लेट द आइडियल टाइम दैट यू शुड अलोकेट इज 40 टू 45 फाइव मिनट्स नाउ कैन आई टेक ब्रेक्स इन बिटवीन यस यू कैन हाउ मेनी एस मेनी एज यू वॉन्ट बट देन इट इज गोइंग टू ईट अप ऑन योर टाइम 
okay so the clock if you see is running guys the clock is running aap jitna bhi break le you take your 45 minutes break and your exam time is over understood so you nobody stops you from taking break but then the clock is running so you you might have to sacrifice your time if you are taking too much of break okay so that's part 1 part 2 testlet 2 is also 36 mcqs also takes 40 to 45 minutes break is optional and clock is running now testlet 3 so testlet 1 and 2 are totally similar to each other testlet 3 consists of two sims it consists of two task based sims simulations and these are sims are long long answers okay so the, it consists of two of them so the time taken is 30 to 40 minutes so the ideal time you should take for both these sims put together will just be 30 to 40 minutes okay can you take a break you should take a break what do you mean by should should matlab your clock stops so after this third testlet which consists of two tbss you submit your paper and it's like a movie where interval you know the movie goes off and even if you don't take even if you don't take a break you do not gain anything because your time clock has stopped so it is a compulsory break or a standard break that happens after the third tba third testlet the reason why you should be aware of this is when you have a standard break after the third testlet maybe you can avoid taking the breaks here unless it is very very essential you can avoid taking the break here why because anyway you're going to get a standard break after the third testlet okay now you are actually halfway through here why i have finished 40 40 and maybe 40 minutes maybe i have finished okay so maybe i'll finish 45 45 30 minutes something like that you know so you are halfway through your exam then again after your so how much break do we have here you have a 15 minute break but that 15 minute is it close uh, uh, is it uh, total here no it is not total here okay so you have already finished 2 hours we said halfway through so uh, you have finished your 2 hours here how you have allocated those 2 hours between 1 2 3 is your choice post that you have the fourth testlet which consists of three task based simulations for which you should be giving 50 to 70 minutes then you have the fifth testlet which again consists of three uh, simulations and that also you will give 50 to 70 minutes okay so these three sims you are giving about 50 to 70 minutes say 60 minutes on an average you are giving for three tbs so per sim you are giving about 20 minutes about 20 minutes per tbs so when you practice a sim at home okay you should approximately give not more than 20 minutes okay then uh, uh, this is optional and what is optional here break is optional here again session m so after the fifth testlet should you take a break no you can go home okay so the clock keeps running so this so totally guys if you total up this green part how many mcqs have you done you have done 36 plus 36 you have done 72 mcqs and two Plus three plus three. You have done eight TBSs. So your total exam consists of seventy-six, seventy-two uh, multiple choice questions and eight sims. Also, what is the total time taken by you? If you count this total time, the total time comes to four hours plus fifteen minutes break. So that's the total. time period for your cp exam with a standard break of 15 minutes post that you can also take any break you want within the 4 hours 
which is however going to eat up on your time okay good so now that we are all comfortable with uh, how the exam goes let's go to the next slide this is audit 1 so your entire syllabus is broken into five chapters okay uh, sorry six chapters audit so each chapter we call it as audit 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you have six modules humongous topic and of course as you people know it is totally theory okay you will not find one number here i i think so it's totally theory so so that you do not go to sleep my endeavor will be to make it as interesting as possible so let's move ahead guys let's move to audit 1 what is audit so i've given a small description of what is audit audit is defined you must have come across this definition uh and audit is defined as an independent examination of financial information of, of an entity whether profit oriented or not irrespective of its size or legal form when such an examination is conducted with a view to express an opinion thereon it also attempts to ensure that the books of accounts are properly maintained by the by the concern as required by law so now let us examine this definition bit by bit let us dissect it make it into pieces and understand each bit of this definition now this definition is not really something that i need to buy hard but this definition is required for me to first understand ke hai kya so this this thing where i'm going to spend maybe next to 60 hours maybe i'm going to spend 4 hours writing the exam what is this about what is this auditing so the first thing that is a very important word in this definition is the word independent audit is independent independence is so crucial so important for audit that i can easily say it is the most characteristic feature of audit audit ka aham hissa hai independence it is a part and parcel of audit so much so guys ke no independence no audit ठीक है if you do not have an independent perspective it is so important for an audit that if it is not independent audit report ko phek do kachre mein it is that important independence is that crucial for an audit page number in the book we are starting from the beginning but uh, today's topic is all on the slide okay except for the mcqs couple of them which we will solve you do not have to really associate yourself with the page number today reason is we are doing the first and the second chapters first and second module okay in the book uh, but this is even before that so in the book he straight away jumps to the standards but i am starting from the beginning because this is essential and testable part of your it's a testable part of your syllabus fine so first we said audit is independent so i want you people to tell me what do you mean by independent as far as audit is concerned guys i know the english meaning of independent independence day hota hai freedom hota hai but what is the meaning of independent as far as audit is concerned what do you think is the meaning of independence here unbiased free from bias very good ankit mayank madhur yes manish yes third party says madhur perfect why do you say third party because third party is always independent right not depending on loss of any individual okay no bias no pressure i'll take that do not impact the decision making okay why because it is unbiased okay surbhi surbhi says do not impact okay uh, mohammad says free from bias yes we have done that you are right mohammad then puneet says free from bias yes and vishnu says srr 
you will have to explain that vishnu what is srr ekdas is free from bias good okay so we talked about independence which i am going to explain to you now you people have already explained to me see from today onwards cpa ai cpa says all of you all students will check their own answer sheets self evaluation because of lockdown everybody will self evaluate their papers exam likho khud ke marks khud hi decide karo aur humko sirf marks bhija you just send us marks how is it going to be god everybody is going to get 100% kisi ko 99% bhi nahi milega everybody will get 100% forget fail everybody will get 100% only you do not have to show the answer sheet isn't it but then what will be the okay everybody passes so everybody is a cpa is it good or bad what is going to be the value of a cpa when a entity is going to hire a cpa it's going to say that okay wo to khud hi marks diya he has self evaluated and he has got 100 isn't it there is no value for that why is there no value because you have evaluated your own marks there is there is no meaning to that there is no value to that you will think ma'am what a stupid example yes in if lack of independence is that very stupid i told you independence is so crucial the moment you are allowed to evaluate your paper it is almost equal to no writing the exam didn't you say that same way audit card audit report bhi fake do there is no value to the audit if the uh, if it is done by themselves so let us apply the same thing what same thing the same principle what we said about cpa exam to an audit i am a business okay i run the business if i tell you that i have made a profit of 1 million okay does it have any value nahi mera main bol rahi i tell you sudha murthy oh me i give such lectures everybody passes of all people love me does it make any impact on you no she you will think okay she is talking about herself but if one another student an old student of mine comes and says yeah ma'am is good that has more value main 10 cheez apne aap bolu it has no meaning because i am telling about myself but another person comes and tells something about me that has value okay yes but it's not certified says akash okay uh, mohammed says yes it may mislead right so if this is the case for an audit it is essential as you people said there are two words which was running through all your answers guys and what was that you people told me that independence matlab no bias which was a very important factor now if i tell about myself what is going to creep what are you afraid of bias you are afraid that i will be biased about myself now everybody loves themselves so they going not nobody is going to say anything bad about themselves right so same way if an entity is going to give its financial statements unaudited will you believe it no nobody will believe it because entity khud apna dabba mar raha how do i know he says he has made a profit how do i know that is the value of non independent audit okay so for example if the director's brother director's own kitten kin blood brother is the auditor or situation 2 there is an outsider who is the auditor which is more reliable obviously the outsider is more reliable that is the reason the other important word that i found from all your answers is third party so the auditor should be an third party an outsider or insider 
Yes, guys, auditor should be an outsider or an insider, obviously an outsider, right? Ekta says Ankit, Mahesh, Mayank, Ramesh, Chirag. So outsider say, kya badta hai? When you have an outsider, a third party who is an auditor, what gets enhanced in an audit? Yes, Asad, Surabhi, yes. What increases is the reliability. The value increases, isn't it? Are third person bol raha hai, sunte hai. Maybe it is true. So your reliability, your belief in the audit report, your belief in the financial statement is enhanced. The credibility, the value of your financial statement is enhanced. The moment it is a third party evaluation. It's an independent next thing. So we have all understood about independence, guys. Okay. Next, it is an independent examination. What is audit? If I ask you for one word for audit, apart from what is there in the books, audit, ek shabd mein batao. Bata. Give me one word for audit, apne words mein. Only one word. Evaluation, checking, evaluation, checking, evaluation. Yes. So, evaluation, checking, scrutiny, Outside verification, very good. Authentication and giving an opinion, right? So Manish, before I give an opinion, jo mein process karti hun, that is audit, okay? The process that I perform prior to giving an opinion is audit. So opinion I will give, yes. Every audit should result in an opinion. Agreed, Manish. But before that, the process that we are doing is what is audit. So it is an independent examination. So all the words that you have given me in the chat box is nothing but synonyms of examination. Checking, verification, authentication, scrutiny, or kya wala apne? outside verification. All these are what? Checking. So all these are what? Examine, checking, matlab kya? Examination. So audit is an independent examination. The entire process is examination. Of what? Of financial information. So do we check non-financial information also? Non-financial also. We check or we do not check. We check. Yes, yes, yes. Corporate governance. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. Internal controls, corporate governance, internal audits, CSR. Yes, guys. Chirat is not bound to. That is also important. Okay. We should know the business. Right. Very good, Ramesh. Of the company. Right. Okay, so you said non-financial also we check. Then why are we writing only financial information? What is green on this slide? Why are we only talking about financial here? Behavior of promoters towards the approach of business, okay? Gopal Krishna. Fine, so why are you saying only financial information? Okay, I will tell you the answer guys. Uh, whether you check, see based on what you say, whether you check the financial information or non-financial information is left to the choice of the auditor. Auditor can decide whether to check financial, non-financial, internal, external, what to check is left to the judgment of the auditor. It is to the choice of the auditor. The auditor will decide what to check. But finally, the report is on. Report is on financial matters or non-financial? Financial information. Finally, your report is not on both. No, 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 no. It's not on both. It is only on financial information. Okay. So ultimate. Okay, you might say, ma'am, we also report on internal controls. Yes, maybe internal controls also you report. But the basic statutory audit I'm talking about, 
ओके तो जो स्टैचुटरी ऑडिट होता है वॉट इज द वर्डिंग दट यू यूज इन स्टैचुटरी ऑडिट का basically the most important wording in your report what is the word that you use in a statutory audit what are you trying to give bound by law or batao true and fair view exactly that's what i was looking for exactly perfect bingo so you are reasonable assurance fine reasonable assurance to doge kiske bare mein doge Puneet, what I'm trying to say is, okay, you give a reasonable assurance about what? The reasonable assurance that you're giving is about true and fair view. So, true and fair view of what, guys? When I say true and fair view, okay, let's concentrate on your true and fair view. What is true and fair? Financial statements are true and fair. I'll take that. Ekta says. फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू एंड फेयर मतलब ट्रू एंड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिविंग अ ट्रू एंड फेयर व्यू ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिविंग अ ट्रू एंड फेयर व्यू अग्रीड जीवन सेस प्रीति सेस अभिजीत मोहम्मद एवरीबडी सेस ट्रू एंड फेयर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिविंग अ ट्रू एंड फेयर ऑन व्हाट ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ अफेयर्स ऑफ द एंटिटी ठीक है ना तो आप बोल रहे हो कि आपका फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट पक्का पिक्चर दे रहा है आपका एंटिटी का एंटिटी जैसा है वैसा ही पिक्चर आपका फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दे रहा है तो फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज गिविंग अ ट्रांसपेरेंट पिक्चर करेक्ट पिक्चर एन ऑनेस्ट पिक्चर नॉट अ या एन अनबायस्ड पिक्चर इट्स गिविंग एन अनबायस्ड पिक्चर द परफेक्ट एक्चुअल जैसा है वैसा दिखाया That is what you are trying to give as an opinion. So, you are financial statement. When you are saying, so that is financial information or not? Tell me, guys. When the basic objective of your audit is to give a true and fair view, okay. So, of what financial statements are giving? So, ultimately, you are going to concentrate on financial information. But, so all of you have agreed. I am happy. Now, Basim also. Nitya also good. So when you are going to give a true and fair view, okay, of the financial information, for this can you check non-financial information also? Yes. For giving an opinion, which is my ultimate objective, true and fair picture, इसके लिए मैं चेक करूँगी क्या चीज़ चेक करेंगे आप? What is it that you are going to check? I am going to check non-financial also. Meri mercy, bhai. Auditor is allowed to decide whether he wants to check financial, non-financial. Jo check karega, check karega. Ultimately, kya karega? He will give a report. Report on what? On the financial statements, which contains what? Financial information. So we have done three parts of our definition, guys. Audit is an independent. Examination of financial information of any entity, whether profit-oriented or not. So let me just give you a small brief about this. Should a is audit required only for profit-oriented entity or a non-profit entity? Both. Now, question is, guys. Profit oriented entity, I want to say that the profit is correct. Okay. So profit oriented entity may I get into the financial statements and say they have profit, they have given a true and fair picture. When they say the profit is uh, hundred thousand, that means it is really hundred thousand. So Joe profit was dikaya, that is correct. Now let us discuss why what about non-profit? You said both. All of you are saying both. Venkat Krishnan says both. Gopal Krishna says both. Ekta Rani says both. Ravindran, okay. Ritwik says both. Fine. So all of you are saying both. जब आप both बोल रहे हो, both what? Both profit oriented and non profit. So profit oriented taken. I've taken your answer. Accepted. Why non profit? Okay, entity performance of a non-profit organization to check no frauds, proper utilization of funds, 
checking proper utilization of resources. We need to report whether funds utilized for the, oh God, so many answers to ensure, are babre. Because to check the authentication of the utilization of funds, procedures and policies gap while preparing the financial statement for NPO uh, associative. Okay. So in sabka summary kya mil raha mujhe, you are all saying that whether the procedures and the gap and the financial performance of the entity is okay or not. Ye aapko check karna hai. Fine, I'll give you a more specific answer guys. Profit oriented me, my question was, ensure that there is no mismanagement, no fraud. Yes, somebody also told me fraud, that reminds me. That's a good answer. So in a profit oriented entity, what am I going to check? I'm going to check the statement of uh, profit or loss and saying that is not a profit dikhaya, sahi baat hai. Or sahi baat nahi hai. So in an auditor is going to check the profit shown by a profit in oriented entity. My question was, if it's a non-profit entity, why are you bothered about audit? I will tell you something very basic, guys. A non-profit organization, a non-profit organization or a charitable entity cannot have profit. Profit ho sakta hai, ho sakta hai. It can have. Then why are you saying it's a non-profit organization? Because its objective was not commercial. No, they had other objectives like somebody just now said. So the, pro the purpose was charitable. Phir bhi profit aaya to mein kya karo? Right? So it is not that non-profit organization should not have profit. It is just that it is its objective, its main motive was not to make profit. But you think non-profit organization doesn't require surplus, doesn't require funds, doesn't require cash? There is a church. There is a temple, there's a hospital, there is an orphanage, there is something very, very non-profit in nature. Okay, so this kind of non-profit organization also requires profit. They have to survive, right? So everybody requires profit, but profit was not the main motive. But to do charity, you require money or not? Modi cares, PM cares. What is that? Because he cares, he requires money to care. Right? So you require money to show your care, to show your help. So non-profit organization also will have profits. Now I'll tell you one step more. Non-profit organization is going to utilize these profits. Okay for the certain purposes. So is it really utilizing those profits for those purposes? That you have to see. The way some of you said, that whether they are achieving their objectives, the charitable purpose, the pur is, is, is the profit utilized for the charitable purpose. Let's see what Ekta has to say. Profit which they earned will be redistributed to contributors after allocating surplus funds towards cost. cost. So profit is not the main motive, right? Perfect, we said it. Perfect. So what was I saying? I was saying that it's an independent examination of financial information for profit oriented. Why for non-profit? Non-profit is like a non-profit organization also may have profit. Whether that profit is right or not, we have to check. Now more important, non-profit organizations are like a pampered kid. Okay, so usko sab kuch milta hai. They break a rule, chale gaya, non-profit hai. Tax, don't pay tax, you are exempted, non-profit. So they are highly pampered, I will not say overrated, but they have their due respect and they have their benefits there. Non-profit. So if I'm a non-profit organization, it is all the more important, I'll go to the extent of saying, it is all the more important that my profit is correct. Jo profit oriented hai, wo to bol diya kya commercial. Okay, he is paying full tax. 
But if I'm a non-profit organization, I may be exempted from tax. I may be receiving grants. I may be receiving special favors from the government. Officially, of course, but yes, I might be receiving special favors. Itna sab receive karne ke liye, the deservability factor should be that I'm genuine. This genuinity is enhanced or rather attested and certified by the auditor. So guys, after this discussion, you people tell me, where is audit more important? Profit oriented or non-profit? Kiska audit zyada important hai? Profit oriented or non-profit? Both. But dono me se ek if I say, it is more important for non-profit. Why for non-profit? Reason is because they receive more benefits, maybe tax benefits, maybe grants, which a profit-oriented is not receiving. So doesn't the government before sanctioning the grant want to know whether these profits are correct, whether the financial statements are correct? It is more important because as I told you, they are like a pampered kid. Usko bohot ahemiyat milta hai. Maybe they really deserve it because they are for charitable purposes. They are for selfless uh, service. But are they really doing that service? That we require to know. Irrespective of its size or legal form. So let's do what is there in yellow. Irrespective of its size, small entity, large entity. Legal form. What could be the legal form? Various forms, proprietorship, hai, partnership, hai, joint stock company, hai. sub ka audit, hota hai, sub ka audit. Hota hai. But before we go ahead, guys, the other important audit is more important for which form of organization? Uh, to the public, public companies. Okay, okay, okay. To the shareholders. Okay, no, uh, let's streamline, guys. My question to you is, which legal form is audit most important to? Public listed entity only? Not necessary, guys. I don't know why everybody said only public companies. Any company, yes, any joint stock company, audit is essential. Audit is mandatory or optional, mandatory for any company. Okay, a limited liability company, an LLC or a joint stock company, the way we call it in India. In US, we call it as an LLC, limited liability company. So, or PLC, public limited company. So, jo bhi C hota hai, company hota hai, uska audit is mandatory. But does that mean that if I'm a firm, I should not get myself audited? No. I still can get myself audited. Proprietorship audit nahi karayega, zarur karayega. Societies, of course, it's necessary for societies also. So, irrespective of legal form, audit is applicable. Audit har cheez ka hota hai, har ek entity ka hota hai. When such examination is conducted with a view to express an opinion. What was your objective in doing audit? Why did you do this examination? To express an opinion thereon. You wanted to give an opinion on the entity. Uske liye hi you conducted the audit. So let me, I've read up to here. So in sab ka hum log ek bar pad lete hain. Audit is an independent examination of financial information of any entity whether profit oriented or not irrespective of its size or legal form when such examination is conducted with a view to express an opinion thereon so her audit ends with Every audit ends with, what is the last part of every audit? Opinion. Opinion. Guys, right. Opinion is the right answer. Now, can I do an audit and not reach an opinion? I go for buying clothes. I'm not able to decide whether I should buy this one or this one. So I can come back saying, no, I am not able to reach an opinion. Okay, I am choosing uh, a 
groom for my sister. I'm not able to decide whether I should uh, go for A or B. I want to enter into a contract. I want to enter into a business. I'm not able to decide whether I should produce A or B. Asking me, can I not reach an opinion? Disclaimer of opinion is given in risk audits. Okay. 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 Let me tell you who said this disclaimer of opinion. Gopal Krishna. Gopal Krishna, disclaimer of opinion is also an opinion. Yes or no? Good point he has made. Disclaimer. Disclaimer be a opinion, hai, Baba. I have decided to give disclaimer. My final conclusion is to give disclaimer. Okay. Disclaimer doesn't mean that there is no responsibility. So, disclaimer is also one opinion. Opinion is there in a disclaimer as well. So, every audit should result in an opinion. Yes or no? Yes. Every audit. Yes, 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 yes. Already I have received five or six yeses and still receiving more of yes. So what does it mean? That every audit should result in some kind of opinion. Let it be disclaimer. Let it be other types of opinion. But opinion in India as an evil sakte. So disclaimer also. Very good point made by Gopal Krishna. Disclaimer. Disclaimer is also one kind of opinion. We will study that in later uh, parts. So, her audit results in an opinion. I cannot say, I have audit to kia. I will not give an opinion. I will not give anything. I will not give an audit report. Can I say that? No. Every audit should end with an audit report and every audit report should have an opinion. It also attempts to ensure that books of accounts are properly maintained. Why? One of the purposes of audit, it is not only to give an opinion that financial statements are correct. Financial statements are based out of books of accounts, right? So, first a transaction is recorded in the books of accounts and books of accounts are then analyzed, interpreted, classified, summarized and then finally you prepare the financial statements from the books. Where are the financial statements? From your trial balance. Trial balance is what? Summary of your accounts. Isn't it? So, for a financial statement to give a true and fair, automatically it means what? Books of accounts are properly prepared. So, from books of accounts are properly maintained by the concern. How? As per law. I cannot prepare books of accounts according to my choice. I cannot prepare books of accounts the way I want. It has to be in accordance with law. Is the law ka naam kya hai? The law last part of this definition what is the meaning of law books are prepared sorry as per law as per gap of it, generally accepted accounting practices accounting principles sorry sorry generally accepted accounting principles so as per gap only i have to prepare my books of accounts so, are you also checking as per gap? Yes, I'm checking as per gap. <coughs> Regulatory framework applicable. Perfect word, Ketan. I love that. Yes, Ketan. It's called as financial reporting framework. Also gap. Gap is perfect. Perfect uh, word. But a different word which you can use is regulatory framework what is regulatory framework it is like a frame see when i've given this definition this definition is inside one dotted lines one box here that is a frame okay so all the parts of your definition is there within that frame same way if there is a framework of regulations all those frameworks are coming within this, uh, all the rules, regulations are coming within the framework. So I'm considering all the rules which are covered under one big umbrella, one big box, and that is your regulatory framework. 
What is IFRS? Madhur says IFRS, fine. What is IFRS? It's a part of your gap. Okay, IFRS is a part of your gap, but since we are doing CPA from the US perspective, it is important that we know US, does it follow IFRS or doesn't follow IFRS? No, US doesn't follow and doesn't like IFRS. Why guys? Why doesn't it follow US? Uh, yeah, it follows US gap. Doesn't follow IFRS, right? Akash, correct. So, yes, Surbi, US gap. Mayank also said no. Fine. Why? Because IFRS originated where? In Europe. IFRS originated in UK, to be more specific, right? Europe and UK more specifically. I stand corrected. So IFRS originated in UK. So it is more popular. There are a huge number of countries. It's not only in Europe, not only Germany and UK and other countries are following IFRS. There are a lot of countries worldwide following IFRS, but because US did not start IFRS or for their own reasons, they follow still the US gap. And I don't think they are going to ever change to IFRS because they have their own set of standards and they have a lot of belief and pride in their own standards, right? So they, the, in US, the gap does not include IFRS. Though the whole world has accepted IFRS, US stands alone. Okay, stands alone me. Many of the countries have already taken IFRS, but US does not follow IFRS. APAC as well, right? Correct. So when I say law, I mean the gap. I mean the financial reporting framework. So that was your definition of audit. Does it seem okay, guys? Can we move to the next slide? Advantages and disadvantages of audit. I am heading to the area advantages and disadvantages, but I am talking about only advantages. Let us talk about it. Audit enhances the reliability of financial statements. Whenever there is an audit, obviously financial statements reliability, the faith, okay, on the financial statement is enhanced through the audit. It creates vigilance. What do you mean by vigilance? I keep giving this example. Okay, so there is one policeman. Now this is lockdown time. You are not supposed to go out. Okay, but I venture out. And at the end of the road, I see a policeman. What do I do? Chup chap ghara vapas I quietly return back home. The policeman did not even look at me. He did not even tell me. But the fact that I know that there is a policeman standing outside my house, I will never venture breaking the law. The reason is his mere presence is sufficient to ensure, to create that fear in me. Oh my God, he's there. The cop is there, right? Officer is there. So I, it creates one kind of law abidingness, if I can use that word, what the mere vigilance, okay. Same way, audit also creates a vigilance within the entity. Say I'm an accountant, I was thinking, why don't I do a fraud, a little fraud? Then I saw the auditor, then I thought, Are, whatever entry I'm writing today, whatever entry I pass today, is going to be viewed by the auditor. That itself, the fact that it is going to be evaluated and checked and examined by the auditor, demoralizes me from doing fraud. Yes or no? So the mere fact that there is going to be an audit ensures that there is a law abidingness that there is no fraud, that all entries are recorded correctly, there is completeness, there is accuracy. All these things will come automatically. Right? So at least be afraid of God. Same way, be afraid of the auditor as well. So reliability is enhanced, vigilance is increased, acceptance by the public is more common in the case of a audited financial statements. 
lenders and banks always require audited financial statements anybody who wants to give you a loan see i approached a bank and i said please i want a loan bank kya bolega give me financial statements now tell me guys do they want an audited financial statement or an unaudited financial statement obviously audited financial statement isn't it yes they all want audited financial statement right so audited financial statement are extremely one of the reasons why i get my books audited is because i want a credibility and a loan okay so whenever i approach for loan he will ask for an audited financial statement so it is always better ke main apne financial statements ko audit karke rakhu kyunki kya pata whenever i approach a bank they might require audited financial statements mergers and acquisition so same way if your company wants to buy my company or we plan to merge both our companies we want to amalgamate our companies mergers so whenever there is a merger will you look into my audited financial statement yes because you want to see what is it that you are getting into which company are you buying which company are you merging with okay before that you will do your background check you will do your due diligence so when you are doing your due diligence you are going to look for what only audited financial statements detection of fraud audit detects fraud it enhances the credibility raising insurance claims same thing i raised an insurance claim for loss of stock there was a fire in the factory stock was lost so i go to the insurance company and raise a claim what will the insurance company ask for pehle uske fire ke pehle aapka stock tha ki nahi tha what is the proof that you had a stock you are raising a claim of 1 million tha ki aapke paas stock 1 million show me show the balance sheet can i prepare my own balance sheet and give in black and white no it has to be audited why third party certification is required so raising insurance claims ke liye bhi audited chahiye ke unaudited chahiye baba har kisi ko audited chahiye unaudited kisi ko bhi nahi chahiye nobody will ever believe is there a one person in this world who will say no 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 i want only unaudited i don't want audited aisa koi bolega nahi whether it is insurance company whether it is a lender or a bank or government or anybody everybody wants audited financial statement because it enhances the reliability and credibility for litigations for arbitration so wherever there is a fight between two people in the entity and we want to go to the court file a suit what will they ask for audited financial statement or forget the court even if there is a private arbitration they will ask for audited financial statement it acts like a moral check on the employees as i gave you this example of a policeman standing outside my house so it is like a moral check the very presence of that person makes me get scared and makes me not to break the law reduces operation cost by timely correction fraud means loss okay theft means loss audit also checks whether some of the expenses are unnecessary whether my operation is efficient or inefficient ye sab bhi to check karta hai okay so operational loss is also checked by audit so these are the uh, the heading says advantages and disadvantages of audit but whatever we are given here are all advantages only what about disadvantages guys what are the disadvantages of audit kuch hai bhi the cost involved in an audit okay proves or provides only reasonable assurance audit risk audit risk nahi hai to bhi cost i will take reasonable assurance no absolute reality fine so having considered all this what i would like to tell you is audit ka koi disadvantage nahi hota 
If I say the word disadvantage, there is no disadvantage of what Sare advantages he had. Then what about these things which you told me? These are all limitations of audit. Matlab, my advantages are there, but the sky is not the limit. There is a limit to the advantages that I have. So while audit is not unlimited advantages, it is only limited, but still there is no disadvantage. Audit karne se koi cheez kharab ho jata hai. Aisa kuch nahi. There is no disadvantage of audit. So though the heading says advantages and disadvantages, we have discussed only advantages because audit is such a beautiful thing, such an important, crucial, significant process and activity that it has no disadvantages. There could be limitations which we will discuss a little later. Okay. So let's take a three minutes break. A quick break and then we will move ahead to the next slide. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think our three minutes are over. People have come back. Good. So the next slide that we are going to talk about is about the managerial responsibilities. Management of whom? Kiska management? Entity ka management. Obviously, kiska management? Entity ka management. Uska responsibility kya hai? What is the responsibility of the entity's management? The first and foremost is the green part. Financial statement. Financial statement ka kya? Preparation. Preparation of financial statement. Whose responsibility? Management's responsibility. Very basic guys. Is se basic kuch nahi hota. Preparation of financial statement is obviously only the management's responsibility. Then, presentation of financial statement is also management's responsibility. Preparation and presentation, both of financial statements. What is the difference between both? Between preparation and present. We usually use this word preparation and presentation of financial statements. Is there a difference or are they talking about the same thing? There is obviously a difference. What is the difference? What is the meaning of preparation and what is presentation? How are they different from each other? What does preparation deal with? What does presentation deal with? Presentation is in format provided by regulatory authorities. Perfect my Perfect answer. When I say presentation, I mean the presentation and disclosure. Have I disclosed it under the correct headings? Have I followed the format? Have I given all the details as required? Have I explained in the notes to accounts? Have I stuck to schedule three if I'm in India? So there is a format given to us by law. I will have to prepare it that way only. So if in my balance sheet, I am required to start with equities and liabilities and then give assets. I have to follow that format. On the other hand, as per IFRS, you start with non-current assets, current assets, give the assets total and then start with liabilities side of the balance sheet. You will have to do it. Or if you are expected to prepare a balance sheet in a tea table, okay, with the assets on the uh, right hand side and the liabilities on the left hand side. You will have to prepare it like that. So you will have to stick to the format and that is what presentation as, as provided by law. What is preparation? Recording of information is preparation. Correct. Very correct. So uh, Rafi Muhammad, preparation means Recording of information. Where? In the books of accounts. Okay. So, and from the books of accounts, has it been correctly transposed into the financial statements? So, is it following the accounting cycle properly or not? That is preparation of financial statements. So, both the preparation and presentation, both are the responsibility of the management. Iske alawa, internal controls are whose responsibility? 
management's responsibility. What to develop internal controls? So, जो internal controls होता है, जिसके बारे में हम लोग in depth पढ़ेंगे बाद में, but this internal controls का development is always the responsibility of the management and providing information to the auditors also to the responsibility of the management. So internal controls ka development and maintenance is management responsibility and providing information is also management's responsibility. So how many things have we talked about? Four things. Responsibility of the management. If the financial statements are not presented truly and fairly, what will the auditor do? Okay. The auditor will give a negative opinion because the audit opinion is to say unmodified opinion is to say that it is true and fair if it is not true and fair then what will he do he'll give a modified opinion he'll say it's not true and fair right we'll do a lot more on that do not worry we'll do a lot more than that uh, but i would prefer to have your name because i cannot address you as galaxy note 10 it would be nice if I could have your name because it gives a personal touch. I want to appreciate your point, but I'm not able to say that because I don't know who you are. Right? Okay. So, managerial responsibilities. Managerial responsibilities are four in number, guys. What are those four? Maintenance and development of internal control, preparation of financial statement, presentation of financial statement, and providing information to the auditor. So finally, all said and done, uh, the final information to the auditor is provided by whom? By the management. Who is responsible? Management is responsible. So ultimate responsibility of providing information, relevant information, true information to the auditor is the management's responsibility. So these were responsibilities of the management. Then, what is auditor's responsibility? Let us have a look. I will give you, and the textbooks also gives you, five responsibilities of the auditor. We did four responsibilities of the management and five responsibility of the auditor. Auditor ka responsibility kya hota hai? Hota hai. Two, first I will say is independence. We have already done a lot on independence. We have understood a lot. We discussed about independence today. So much so that we said that independence nahi hai to audit report bekar ho jata hai. So the very fact that it is not independent vitiates the very meaning of audit. Audit is waste process if it is not independent. So independence is very crucial. It is a very crux of audit process. So auditor's responsibility, the first responsibility we said is independence. So either auditor ka kya responsibility hota hai? Auditor ka responsibility hota hai to ensure that he is independent. To ensure that if he is not independent, he should not accept the audit. He should ensure. So please view the point here guys. It is a little different from what we understood. We understood about independence, thoroughly discussed about independence. Okay. Here you are saying it is the auditor's responsibility to be independent. Okay. So if independence is not independent, whose headache is it? It is the auditor's headache. So tomorrow they will say, Are you being an auditor, you don't know that you have to be independent? You were not independent, you should have not taken up that assignment. Why did you take up that assignment? So whose responsibility is it to ensure independence? Auditor's responsibility. Next is ethical requirement. What is ethics, guys? Ethics is moral values. I, my parents since childhood have taught me to be honest. They have taught, chori karna paap hai, that's what they have taught me. They have taught me to be good, to be law abiding, to be religious, to pray, to have hope, to have faith, to help other human beings, to help animals, to be kind to the environment. These things have been taught to me. Okay. What are these? These are my ethics. Ethics are inner values. CSR is also your ethics. 
environmental uh, commitment is also your ethics okay so this uh, auditor should also have ethics yes auditor should have ethics he should be honest he can't be a liar he can't be a cheater isn't it so he has to be hard working he cannot be negligent he has to use due care so these are the ethical requirements so whose responsibility is it to ensure that there are ethical requirements auditor's own responsibility auditor khud dekhega ki kahi main careless to nahi hu pura kaam to kar raha hu honesty hai sincerity hai unbiased nature hai ki am i biased towards somebody so all these ethical requirements are also auditor's responsibility then gas somebody tell me the full form of gas generally accepted auditing standards very correct so what do we do we do audit in accordance with standards these standards are given under gas so gas gives you the basic rules on the basis of which so audit has to be conducted audit being conducted in accordance with gas is an essential part so gas ke hisab se hi auditing karna chahiye because the guiding principles for audit is gas all the rules all the standards on auditing all the pcob standards all the sec standards we'll do a lot about those standards in future classes so ye jo standards aati hai us hisab se hi audit karna chahiye i cannot go beyond the standards and do audit or i cannot Uh, neglect the following of certain standards. It is my duty to ensure that I follow these standards. Generally accepted auditing standards. So, these standards follow करना किसका responsibility है? फिर से auditor का ही responsibility है. It is the auditor's responsibility to ensure that gas are followed in the audit. it is the auditor's responsibility to gather audit evidence when i do audit we said it always results in an opinion isn't it i can't do audit and say no i won't give opinion as we said even disclaimer of opinion is an opinion theek hai so i have to give an opinion at the end of the audit this opinion do i have to justify or i can say meri marzi meri marzi maine opinion diya diya bas i don't ask me why i like it so i gave it i like pink so i painted my wall pink can i say that about an audit opinion no okay so am i required to justify yes ekta yes justify i have to justify my opinion to a certain extent ankita ka say no okay maybe every tom dick and harry everybody walking on the road cannot come and question me ki aapne aisa opinion kyun diya but bhagwan se to daro okay i have to answer somebody i have to be responsible to somebody for my opinion or not basis of opinion says madhur okay that's also a good point yes madhur in my audit report i have a paragraph called as basis of opinion paragraph where i have to give ki kyun maine adverse opinion diya kyun maine modified opinion diya why do i feel that this thing is not right okay. so somewhere i have to justify somewhere i have to explain why i have given a particular opinion this explanation this justification how do i get it from where do i get this justification yes guys ye justification kahan se aata i have to give justification from audit op uh, audit evidence yes vasi okay so ऑडिट एविडेंस से ही तो मुझे जस्टिफिकेशन आता है कि बेस्ड ऑन दिस एविडेंस आई हैव गिवन दिस कंक्लूजन इफ देयर इज अ जज इन द कोर्ट ही विल गिव एन ओपिनियन ही विल गिव अ जजमेंट 
Based on what? Based on audit evidence. So based on audit evidence only, I am going to give an opinion. So whose responsibility to collect the audit evidence? Auditor's responsibility. If I have reached an opinion, I should, as an auditor, be uh, careful, be aware. I should be aware that tomorrow I will have to just, I may have to justify my opinion in case there is a problem. For that, what do I require? I require evidence. I require evidence to support my judgment. So, whose responsibility to gather audit evidence? Auditor's responsibility to gather it. So, auditor ka kya kya responsibility hota hai? Independence, ethical requirement, to do audit as per gas, to have audit evidence and last is professional judgment. So, he should use professional judgment. This professional judgment ka dusra naam hota hai. I would like to explain more on this. So, we have done these four. The final point but very very important point is professional judgment. To maintain working papers. Yes. Okay. There are other responsibilities also. Maintain working papers is also an audit evidence. Very correct. Very correct. Fine. Now let's talk about professional judgment. Guys. Opinion. When we say I should give my opinion. Does it mean I am using my judgment or not? Opinion matlab mera view. What is the meaning of opinion? What I think. That is my opinion. Right? My opinion is lockdown is correct. My opinion is a particular party is good for the country. That's my opinion. You may agree, agree you may disagree. Right? So opinion is always based on judgment. I decided that this is the conclusion. So finally, when I have to reach a conclusion, it involves judgment. This judgment has to be a professional judgment. It can't be a kid's judgment. You know, chote bache kya karte? Hick, hack, hook, tack, 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 A, B, C, D. Aise kuch karke, they decide on what they want. Can an auditor do that? No. Modified, not obedient, uh, modified. So inky, pinky, ponky, karke, can he decide on whether he should give a, a favorable opinion or unfavorable opinion? No, it should be based on audit evidence we said. And that judgment should not be a childish judgment, should not be a childish opinion. It should be a professional judgment. So it involves, opinion involves judgment. And this judgment should be professional judgment. But this is not all there is a very very important aspect which is hidden behind this professional judgment and that guys is called as professional skepticism professional skepticism have you heard of this word which i have typed into professional skepticism so what is this professional skepticism guys give me two or three words single single words to which you feel is associated with professional skepticism. Jasus says uh, Chirag. Questioning mind. Correct. Correct. Questioning mind. Questionary mind. Doubt. Introspecting ourselves. Perfect guys. Perfect. So professional skepticism is... Just one more word I would like to add. You've given me all synonyms. Alert. Okay. Doubtful, introspective, questioning mind and forever being alert. Never trust anyone without evidence. Correct. I will go one more step. Krishna Chaitanya. I will go one more step. I will say, don't even trust evidence. Krishna Chaitanya says, don't trust anybody without evidence. Evidence low. I say, evidence ko bhi check karo. Kya pata it is fraudulent evidence? 
right so evidence also will be critically assessed yes krupa okay so krupa reference is critical assessment to so, har cheez ka critical assessment karo evidence ko bhi aise hi mat lo not able to see your typing i am not typing i just typed once i said i typed the word professional skepticism i i typed the word alert that's all okay so uh, are you able to see my uh, slide surya the slide on your laptop or uh, phone yeah okay fine so professional skepticism means not believing anybody as you people said i'm just summarizing all the things that you people only told me don't believe anybody evidence ko bhi believe mat karo check it being alert all the time having a questioning mind doubtfulness doubtful approach that is your professional skepticism so you go ahead with the thought that there is an issue or there is no issue there is an issue you go ahead with the thought that there is fraud or there is no fraud there is fraud just imagine you have appointed me as an auditor and me as a person is a very nice swami ji kind of a person i say are in me we kar me doubt mat kar sab bande acche hain learn to believe people learn to trust people नहीं होगा कुछ करना झूठ नहीं बोल रहा होगा इज दैट दोच दैट आई शुड है ऑडिट फिर मैं ऑडिट क्या करूंगी इफ आई स्टार्ट सेट नहीं नहीं एंटिटी कैन नॉट गिव रॉन्ग बोल तो रहा है वो बोल रहा है प्रॉफिट इतना है तो बिलीव करो उसको दैट इज नॉट द अप्रोच सो वॉट शुड आई डू वेन ही टेल्स मी समथिंग आई शुड काउंटर चेक इट आई शुड ऑलवेज नो दैट एनीथिंग दैट ही सेज could be wrong could be fraudulent could be mitigated could be i'm sorry not mitigated could be vitiated okay so i should go with the approach that he could be lying so let me test everything before i go ahead with it that is your professional skepticism a cor example with you you must have seen the movie padmavat or any of those old bahubali all those movies you know maya bazaar telugu movies hindi movies har the old movie mein the king ke liye khana aata hai okay the cook brings all those wonderful items yummy things to for the king cook ka kya aata hai you know what the king does the king asks the cook to eat first the king asks the cook to eat what he has made first Why? उसमें पॉइजन है तो पहले तो मर यू डाई फर्स्ट एंड देन इफ इट इज इफ ईट्स एंड ही इज ओके देन द किंग विल ईट तो वॉट इज द अप्रोच या इट इज नॉट अबाउट द टेस्ट ऑफ फूड मोर देन टेस्ट आकाश वो तो मे बी द कुक हिमसेल्फ विल हैव वन स्पून इन द किचन एंड ड्रिंक बट किंग के सामने खाना पड़ता है द वेरी पर्सन हुआ फूड को खाना पड़ता है वट डू थिंक इज द रीजन आकाश द रीजन इज बिकॉज इफ इनकेस देर इज पॉइजन इन दैट नो द एनिमी अगर उसने आके पॉइजन मिलाया थ्रू द कुक तो कुक को ही खा लो पहले कुक खाने को बोलो अगर कुक खाया है और कुक से स्टिल सर्वाइविंग दैट मीन्स द फूड इज Edible and it is not poisonous. उसके बाद king खाएगा. The next time cook क्या करेगा? He'll be very careful in ensuring that it is of good quality and there is no problem with the food. And that is what that is a doubtful man. King is doubting the cook, right? Yes, but there is nothing to be offended about. It is a part and parcel of the king's duty. His उसका role ही ऐसा है. he has to doubt everybody around him that is professional skepticism also professional khana aaya bol ke khan nahi lena usko check karo then slowly you take it same way evidence if it comes the management gives you some evidence are evidence aaya na mat le lo you check that evidence 
where could this go wrong what could be the problem in this could it be true could it not be true how can i cross check all this has to be considered and that is professional skepticism so auditor ke kitne management ke kitne responsibilities hain char what are the preparation presentation of financial statements development and maintenance of internal controls and providing information to the auditor auditor ke kitne responsibilities hain five first is independence second is ethical requirement third is doing audit in accordance with gas audit evidence to be obtained and collected and to use professional judgment Check the source of evidence, right? Please, sub check करना पड़ेगा. Mine says four, yes, and my auditor's responsibility are five in nature. Good, right? Now let us see. This is this picture is showing which word that we studied just now, right? wrong and it depends so which of the auditor's responsibilities that we just now discuss is this picture depicting opinion okay whether it is right whether it it is wrong or whether it depends based on what professional judgment right so who said professional judgment mohit said professional judgment Muhammad said professional judgment. Vandana also says professional judgment. Fine. Vandana said professional judgment first. Fine. So this is professional judgment. Next, what about this? Which of the duties of the auditor is this picture showing? Independence. Independence. See, all the blue balls are on one side. This, this, this is red. this is different and it is standing alone it doesn't get mixed with others it is very different from the rest so what is it independent so what is this this is the quality this is the responsibility of the auditor so earlier what we did this was professional judgment which was the responsibility of the auditor this is independence which is the responsibility of the auditor what is this उसका चेहरा देखो और बता स्केप्टिसिज्म ही इज गॉट अ क्वेश्चनिंग माइंड कितने डाउट से देख रहा है तो व्हाट इज इट दैट इज द क्वेश्चनिंग माइंड सो दैट इज द प्रोफेशनल स्केप्टिसिज्म व्हाट इज दिस गाइस एविडेंस दिस इज क्लियरली एविडेंस यू सी द थंब प्रिंट देयर दैट इज ऑडिट एविडेंस करेक्ट एंड व्हाट इज दिस gas to do audit in accordance with gas so we have considered five responsibilities of an auditor now let's go to the inherent limitations in audit see we already talked about the advantages of audit then i told you there are no disadvantages in audit then what is this this is the limitation of advantage matlab aapka advantage is not up to the sky there is some limit to the amount of advantage that you can have out of audit audit is a very very advantageous thing but there is a limit to it so that is called as inherent limitation in audit first is subjective judgment based reporting okay so it is subjective judgment based reporting for example okay let me first explain it this way we are talking about inherent limitations of audit matlab audit mein khud mein thode limitations hote hain hai na bhai hum log bol rahe the ki audit khud what do you mean by inherent it is there within that thing only okay so it is inherent matlab audit ke andar hi kuch aisa hai which is pulling it down so that is a limitation that is existing within the audit itself so that is the inherent 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 means from within so this limitation of audit which is an inherent limitation of audit is arising because of 
three major factors. These three major factors are first is financial reporting, second is audit procedure, and third is cost benefit. Deco, when you're doing the audit, you know, accounts it is a part and parcel of audit. You will all agree. For example, if I'm an auditor, I have thorough knowledge on auditing, but no knowledge on accounting. Debit credit, I am a science student, who commerce student. But I have a very professional skepticism. Questioning mind, all these things are there. Do you think I'll make a good auditor? No. Can I be, forget good auditor guys. Can I at least be an auditor? For auditor, accounting knowledge is very, very important. So much so that between an accountant and an auditor, accountant ko bhi accounting knowledge chahiye, auditor ko bhi accounting knowledge chahiye. Who should have more accounting knowledge, more depth in uh, accounting? In-depth knowledge, who should have? Auditors should have. Deko Baba, to analyze whether a particular person has done properly or not, just by looking at it, I should be able to say, auditors should have more knowledge about accounting than the accountant himself. Tabi jake auditor is actually checking on the accountant. So if I have to check your work, I should have more knowledge than you. So, finance, finance name, accounting is a part and parcel of audit. Financial reporting is a part and parcel of your audit. Financial accounting is a part and parcel of audit. Because that is my subject matter. That is the raw material on which I am doing my process. Auditor ke liye raw material kya hai? Financial statements are my raw material. I matter I have financial statement. books of accounts. So that is what I'm going to work on. Right? So financial reporting is a part and parcel of every audit. Without financial reporting, you cannot do audit. So if financial reporting me koi mistake hai. There is some mistake suppose in the financial reporting. Does it impact the audit or not? Yes. Limitations in financial reporting as a process automatically results in limitation in audit. Why? If there is a problem in financial reporting, obviously that, that will spread it to audit as well. Limitations in the audit procedure will also lead to limitations in audit and cost benefit. Subjective judgment based reporting. Every financial statement has a certain amount of provisions, estimations. Financial reporting, financial statements have certain amount of estimation or provisions. Do these provisions affect the profit? Yes. I make a estimate of uh, something. Okay. Subjective judgments. So say I make a provision. I make a provision for doubtful debts. If the provision is more, my profit will be reduced. If the provision is less, my profit is increased. Can I check it? I cannot check it. As an auditor, I will not be exactly See, if I've paid a salary of 5,000 and if I've made a provision for doubtful debts of 5,000, which is more reliable? Payment of salary is more reliable. Why are you saying that? Because the payment ka document will pay slip will be there, bank transfer will be there. Okay, so or if I uh, purchase goods, invoice will be there, bill will be there. Agreement will be there. There will be so many ways of checking. But if the management made a provision of the same 5,000, how are you going to check? 
यू हैव टू गो एंड आंस दी मैनेजमेंट आपने कैसा किया तो मैनेजमेंट बोलेगा मुझे लगता है कि आउट ऑफ द टोटल ट्रेड रिसीवेबल्स आई है फाइव थाउजेंड विल नॉट बी पे क्यों लगता है मुझे लगता है आई फील I I am the management. I know. I've been into this business. I've dealt with trade receivables all the time. I know. My heart tells me. My experience tells me. Not heart. My experience tells me that five thousand will not pay. So they have. I've made a provision of five thousand. Can we question it? No, because it is the individual perspective of the management. So, ऐसा वाला जब subjective जजमेंट होता है एंड द सब्जेक्टिव जजमेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ प्रोविजन व्हाट प्रोविजन प्रोविजन फॉर सो इट कुड बी प्रोविजन फॉर बोनस वर्कमैन कॉम्पनसेशन यूजफुल लाइफ ऑफ द एसे ऐसे वाले जो प्रोविजन होते हैं ऑल दिस प्रोविजन आर सब्जेक्टिव जजमेंट बेस्ड ऑन रिपोर्टिंग सेकेंड इज सो जब सब्जेक्टिव जजमेंट होता है इन अ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट ऑब्वियसली द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कैन नॉट बी चेक्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट सो एज अ रिजल्ट देर इज एन इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन इन ऑडिट द इनहेरेंट लिमिटेशन इन ऑडिट आउट हियर इज दैट देर आर सम आइटम्स इन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट विच आर नॉट आउटराइट सिंपल स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फैक्ट्स दीज आर नॉट लाइक योर सैलरीज और परचेज विच इज बैक्ड अप बाई अलिप और एन इनवॉइस these are things which are judgment based and there is no direct proof to say whether this judgment is correct or wrong ye hum bata nahi sakte okay so example is provision for bonus or provision for workman's compensation when i say may i when i make a provision for bonus when do i make it i make it in the current year out of my profits for what for future so future mein itna bonus pay karna padega zyada pay karna padega kam pay karna padega we don't know we depend upon the judgment of the management but is it going to impact your profit yes it is going to so guys is it not an inherent limitation in financial reporting yes and who is it going to impact it's going to impact the audit another inherent limitation in financial reporting which is going to impact the audit is sofp what is sofp guys it's a financial statement which a financial statement statement of financial positions yes ritvi so statement of financial position right balance sheet it is the balance sheet right statement of financial position this statement of financial position just think of this these are be the performance statement that is the profit and loss account so you are comparing a profit and loss account and a balance sheet profit and loss account records transactions transactions for the entire period so if i am preparing the uh, for if my accounting period is jan to december 2019 i prepare the financial statement as on 31st december 2019 this uh, financial statement consists of all the transactions that happened throughout 2019 same way i prepared the balance sheet also as on 31st december 2019 what does it show it shows the situation as on 31st december 2019 hai na so is it explaining the picture of only that day or is it explaining the entire year ka only that day whereas pnl is talking about the entire year ka transaction total karte hai but my balance sheet is showing only as of that day right my right so it is giving me a point in time picture it's like clicking a picture see if i for example when i'm taking your class now i uh, print screen maine dabaya ya ek camera se click kiya this camera picture is going to take a picture only as of now this second who 
उससे पहले क्या था उसके बाद में क्या होगा उससे कुछ लेना देना नहीं है इट्स अ पॉइंट इन टाइम प्रेजेंटेशन सो एस ओ एफ पी इज अ पॉइंट इन टाइम प्रेजेंटेशन एक मिनट उस सेकेंड में जैसा है वैसा ही सेम वे बैलेंस शीट ऑल्सो गिव यू द फिगर आज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर वॉट इफ थ्रू आउट द ईयर फॉर थ्री सिक्सटी फोर डेज I had no cash. As on thirty first December, suddenly I received a lottery. My cash balance will show what as on thirty first. It is not going to talk about what happened on twenty ninth December, twentieth December, thirtieth December also. Thirty first ka hi batai. So what we do is we look at the figures in thirty first December and presume, acha overall on an average this is what it is. maybe it is not as i told you if i receive a lottery as on if i win a lottery and receive the money as on 31st december my cash balance is going to be very high pura saal tha kya nahi tha but what do we think this is the balance sheet for the entire period which is not true this is an inherent limitation in the preparation of sofp it is an inherent limitation iska kuch kiya nahi ja sakta you and i cannot do anything about it because balance sheet whether we like it or not is a prepared as on a particular date when it is prepared on a particular date it gives only that point but what about what was there throughout the year throughout the year to ye tha hi nahi phir bhi nahi dikhega we will always show the picture as on 31st december only so that is a inherent limitation in the preparation of financial statement which is going to impact the audit followed guys guys are you following yes okay thank you abhijit now next one is historical information thank you thank you right so third inherent limitation in audit which is arising out of inherent limitation in financial reporting is it is all historical information so let us take understand it this way you are the user of financial statement what kind of user are you you are prospective investor you want to know whether to invest in this company or not to invest in this company or you are the banker you are the lender you want to know whether to give loan to the company or not give loan to the company so for some reason you are the user of this financial statement so you ask for the financial statement and i give you i give you the latest to audited financial statement now at this point of time if you ask me in april 2020 i'll be able to give you 31st december 2019 wala financial statement that's my latest audited financial statement that i would have with me so that i will give you that based on that you are going to decide whether you are going to invest in my company or not based on that you as a banker are going to decide whether to give me loan or not sahi baat hai na so your decision whether to give me loan or not okay your decision whether to provide me with Uh, uh to invest in my company or not is based on the information related to 31st december 2019 the effect this is what is going to impact you what happened in 19 or what's going to happen in 20 and 21 what's going to happen in 20 and 21 agar aapne aaj april mein decide kiya invest karne ke liye तो अप्रैल के आगे जो होगा वही तो आपको इंपैक्ट करेगा अप्रैल के आगे जो होगा वही तो दैट दैट फाइनेंशियल पोजीशन इज ओनली करेक्ट बट व्हाट आर यू डूइंग यू आर सीइंग द हिस्टोरिकल इंफॉर्मेशन आप देख रहे हो 31 दिसंबर 2019 का एंड थिंकिंग दैट दैट इज व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन फ्यूचर सो एक्चुअली यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन माय फ्यूचर और पास्ट यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन माय फ्यूचर but you don't have my future information we are not astrologers we don't know neither you know nor i know about my future and even if i tell you main aisa karungi waisa karungi you will not believe why you will say show me proof so i can give you proof of what only historical information so based on historical information you are going to take a decision on future 
which may be different from historical information last year my company made awesome profit is sal corona aa gaya na you think i'll be able to make the same profit no but what is the balance sheet showing awesome profit why because of uh, because of my performance last year historical information but it is not essential that the same thing appears in the future also but all said and done financial reporting is about the historical information not about present not at all about future it's all about the past information next choice between alternative accounting policies what do you mean by accounting policies accounting policies is always a choice between two methods whether to use sln whether to use wdv method of uh, accounting okay uh, whether to use uh, fifo method or lifo method of valuation of stock तो ऐसे होता है चॉइस बिटवीन टू मेथड्स दैट ओनली इज अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी हु डिसाइड्स व्हिच मेथड टू यूज मैनेजमेंट डिसाइड्स व्हिच मेथड सो मैनेजमेंट का जो डिसीजन होता है कैन इट डिसाइड ऑन एनीवन यस इसी को तो बोलते हैं चॉइस so if you give me slm and wdv i can choose any one because that is choice if you give me fee for lee for i can you choose anything weighted average i have so i can choose anything who can choose management can choose but if i choose this method my profit is going to be different if i choose this method the profit is going to be different hai na so the very fact the very fact that i have chosen this method over the other is going to give me a different profit as compared to what would have been the profit had i made the other choice may i prepare the financial statements and i'm showing a profit of some amount 5000 5k my management looks at it and says no no sudha this profit is too less my uh, investors my shareholders will not be happy with this increase the profit you know what will i do i will go i can't change facts i can't change salaries i cannot change purchases i cannot change my revenue also these are all facts but what i can change is i can have a look and see what method am i following i'm following this method of valuation of inventory this method of valuation of uh, of some uh, investments goodwill ko maine aise value ki i will try calculating according to another method and what do you want you want me to increase profit na so if that usi hisab se the calculation of depreciation is less for example then i will calculate as per that method and through that what happens my value increases and my profit also increases phir management ne bol itna zyada bahut tax ho jayega kam karo kam karo to phir main kya karungi dusre method se karungi jisse kam ho jaye i can play with profits खेल सकते हैं हम लोग प्रॉफिट्स में वंस आई टेल यू ऑल दिस यू विल स्टार्ट लूजिंग फेथ इन फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग बाय चूजिंग अ डिफरेंट मेथड और अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी और चेंजिंग द प्रोविजन चेंजिंग द एस्टीमेट अ पर्सन कैन प्ले विथ प्रॉफिट्स एंड नीड नॉट जस्टिफाई और कैन नॉट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट रुपी टू रुपी डॉलर टू डॉलर आई कैन नॉट जस्टिफाई यू कैंट एक्सपेक्ट दैट जस्ट but i can still modify the profit so the very fact that i choose accrual basis or cash basis slm or diminishing balance whether i use fifo or avco whether i how do i revalue my assets in sab ke hisab se whether i use historical cost or fair valuation in sab ke hisab se there is a change in profit which is correct both are correct both are accepted by law so can the auditor give absolute assurance that this is correct no if the management changes its uh, choice then the profit will be different how can the auditor say this profit is only correct if you choose one policy profit is this 
if you choose another policy profit is this which is correct both are correct to auditor bichara kaise batayega ki this is correct or this is correct ye doge to bhi auditor check karke bolega ha okay ye doge to fir diminishing balance check karke bolega ha this is also okay so there is no single right guys there are two different right correct so inherent limitations of audit we'll stop here but inherent limitations of audit we said is through financial reporting through limitations in audit procedure through cost and benefit financial reporting mein kya hai one is because it's subjective judgment based because it is uh, sofp is as on a particular day and historical information is only taken and choice between alternative policies can vitiate your particular financial state 